And, and the simple setup is, is really straightforward, guys. It's a sell coming in and a buy coming out. So what happens is that they advertise the sell coming into an area. They try and encourage people into the area and then they switch it up. So when sellers come in, it comes back to their original sell price. They try and sell it. Then they stack the bid on the book here. And that's your bait and switch right there. And from that point onwards, we get the upside potential pop. On the sell side, it's exactly the same. We're looking at the same idea. We're getting them uh, baiting the price in these areas here. We're obviously trying to encourage, we're advertising the buy to be a very good buy. Look, we're even leaning in this area. We're giving you all that extra stack on the book. And then, of course, the, the buy above this price, and then you switch it up. You switch it up. You absorb all their buying. You switch it up, and then you put a sell order in here. And obviously the sell order then switches it up. Everybody that's on the buy trade is now on the wrong side. And then you switch it into the quick sell. The bait and switch. So what is this here? And what is this here? It's fixed solid limit order book. Okay, so this is your limit order book entries. So when you see this as a limit order book entry, it has that type of spoof concept, doesn't it? But it's obviously part of a spoof. It's an advertisement for a trade that then doesn't exist in the first place. So when we see it, obviously what's happening is that in the first example, what's happening is that as soon as you advertise that big sell behind the trade and everybody leans against this thinking it's a genuine breakout, then of course what's happening is as a commercial, what you're doing now is you're buying up this entire area here, right? You're buying up this area here almost looks radioactive, doesn't it, almost? So you're buying up that that level, and then when you, when you get the price back to the original bait-and-switch price, you start stacking the bid. The bait-and-switch. You start stacking the bid. Is that pretty obvious? Pretty easy? Sell side, exactly the same. Limit order book comes in on the buy side. It stacks it up, it stacks it up, it stacks it up. You start selling to the guys that are above here. And, and obviously the buyers are saying what happened, what happened. They're still trying to buy it on the breakout. They think the breakout is legitimate. And then you switch it up with a heavy sell order coming in on the limit. And the buyers just puke and the price collapses. So let's see on using, let's see on using um, MZ pack if we can spot a bait and switch trade. And I will tell you that there are two on the screen. There's two on the screen. Can anybody spot them? Well, let me highlight a bait and switch for you. So there's a bait and switch there. Do you see it? So they advertise the sale in here. See how they're advertising the sale here? And they're advertising the sale here. And what they're trying to show people is, very simple, they're trying to get people to sell down into this level here, aren't they? So when the sellers come in, you can see they absorb on the Voltics, they absorb on the Voltics, they absorb more on the Voltics, and then they take the price back up here, and then they switch it up here. So there's your bait and switch level there. And interestingly enough, do you see that they did exactly the same again at the exact same place? See it? So there's the bait and switch again there. They advertise the sell. They get volume coming in. How do we know we get they get volume coming in? Because there's the POC one tick below the bait and switch. Do you see it? One single tick below the bait and switch. So they're baiting the sellers. They're showing the bait. They're showing the goods. They're showing the advert. Look, guys, we're going to go after this 76 even, uh, 70 evens wholesale. We're going to go after this. The sellers come in. The buyers absorb. Take the POC bid and then stack the bid behind it, the price is gone at that stage, isn't it? So there it is there. This is today's, uh, this is today's oil. This was a trade on today's oil. And that trade there went from 70.20 uh, to 70.90 for $700 profit on a bait and switch. Is that not a good setup? What do you think? Pretty good? Pretty shit? Pretty good? I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good, mate. 
it doesn't have to be you know it doesn't have to be one tick above it can be the same price it, it's got to be at the same price or above though it can't be uh it can't be below the prior price because they will let, what's the point i mean the, the seller might still be there the idea is to take the seller off the numbers because you are the seller do you know what i mean you're the seller so if you're the seller then you know you, you want to make sure that nobody's going to start selling back into that same play again so you want to make sure that you're away from that trade there was a bait and switch at the top edge there was a bait and switch at the top edge there on oil I, I, i'll bring it across in a second i'm actually in it just now so i'm just uh, taking profits on this trade at the moment uh, which is why i wasn't talking about it just a few minutes ago because i'd already just taken a quick short